Hi, in this video, we're going to discuss math tests. Now, I've made videos before on math tests in the past, so I'm going to try to keep this video really short. We're going to discuss how you can actually do really well on mathematics exams. This video is motivated by an email I received from a viewer from Puerto Rico, which is really, really cool. I don't recall getting many emails from people in Puerto Rico. The person's name is Gadiel Ruiz, and the subject is, how can I do better in math tests? Good afternoon, math wizard. I write to you because I'm a big fan, and I know you can probably give me useful advice on the subject. I study in RUM, which is the University of Puerto Rico in Mayagüez. This college is for engineers mostly, and so the math is really difficult. I'm on my first year and taking pre-calculus two right now. The thing is that I actually enjoy math. I'm always studying and it's the class that I enjoy the most, but I have never gotten more than a 75 on a math test. And I am really stumped on why I can't be better. I study more than the recommended time. I understand the subject in full detail, but I still can't pass that goalpost and get an A on a test. I'm worried about that because it might affect me and my goals to get a scholarship and I don't know what to do. So there is a thing called, you know, math anxiety. You know, people get nervous when they take tests and I I've had that and I have found that if that's your problem, if you're getting nervous, um, the best way to beat that is to have that first success, which you haven't had that yet, right? So it's going to take some time and some effort. So here's what I would say to do, and this will work for pretty much any class you take at the undergraduate level. At the graduate level, there's an extra thing you gotta do, but as an undergrad, this should work, and this should ideally lead you to getting an A, possibly even 100%. So what you wanna do for any math class, right, is like you said, you go to class, you do the homework, you go over your notes, you do all the things you're supposed to do. You go to office hours, when you have questions, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to it, it's just you and that test. No one's there to help you. It's just you, the test, and a pencil, and your knowledge. So keeping that in mind, you have to prepare for that test appropriately. So if you were to have a test in front of you, like if I were to give you a math test, you would be able to answer all of the questions if you knew how to do them. So how can you get to that point? The secret is this, make sure that you can do everything cold. And when I say cold, I mean like, you need to be able to do everything without using any resources, without using your book, without using your notes, without using the internet, nothing. And when I mean everything, I mean every single homework problem that was assigned to you, you need to be able to do it without looking at your notes, okay? Everything that was done in class, every single example, understand it and do it and redo it without looking at your notes. If there's any type of review, worship the review, go over it multiple times. Make sure you can do every problem without any resources. The problem with this advice, the problem with this strategy is that it's hard to do. If you think about it, most people barely finish the homework a couple days before the test, like the day before. So they don't have that time to go back and redo everything. So what you want to do is continue spending more time than you're supposed to, finish everything early, and then when you get time to review, when you're in that phase of test review, you want to go back and you look at the problem, and if you have any doubts about whether or not you can do that problem, you need to do it. Don't look at it and say, oh, oh, I, I understand that solution, oh, that makes sense. That is not enough. Looking at the math problem and telling yourself it makes sense does not prove to yourself that you can do it on the test. You need to push away those notes and do the problem. Now, let's say you do that. Let's say you look at it and you say, oh, that makes sense. Then you start to do it. Oftentimes what happens is you get stuck. So then you're forced to look at your notes. Oh, okay, I get it now, you say. And then you look at your notes and you finish. But that's not enough. You need to go back later and redo that problem without looking at your notes. So. You need to be able to do everything cold, okay? I wanna emphasize that. So if you, if you have to look at your notes, even for one second, for one thing, 
even if you think it makes sense to you, it's not guaranteed to make sense because you just had to look. So yes, you can say, oh, it makes sense. I get it now. I got this. No, no, no. Make sure you can actually perform and do it. And if I'm going to be completely honest here, there, are, there have been very few times in my life where I have been that ready for a math test. That was always the goal. But usually what would happen was I would finish the homework maybe a day or two before the test. And then I would just cram and study like crazy and go over everything like crazy and make sure I could do everything cold. And I wasn't always able to do that because of time issues, right? So, but that will work. That will work. That will work because think about it. If you can do everything without any resources, then why can't you do it on the test, right? And again, it's just a matter of taking it to that level. Most people don't study that hard because it just takes too much time, right? Um, it takes a lot of time. So that, that's my advice. Everything, homework, notes, review, make sure you can do every problem without looking at any resources. And again, don't, I wanna say don't believe in yourself. Don't lie to yourself. I mean, don't, don't just look at it and say, oh, I get it. Make sure you can do it. Now, obviously, if you're, if you're tight on time, this is something that's worth mentioning. Let's say, it's, let's say it's the day before the test or the day of the test. If you're tight on time, you're not gonna have time to redo everything. So you have to make judgment calls. And that's where I think people get into trouble, right? Because if you have to make too many choices where you say, oh, I got this, I don't have to redo it. If you do that too many times, oftentimes what's gonna happen is you're not, you're not really gonna know a couple of those things. And you'll take the test, you'll look back and you'll say, oh, I remember that problem from my notes. Oh, I should have gone over it again. And that's typically what happens. So try to get to that point where you can actually review everything and do everything cold, and that's gonna be a game changer. One situation where I did that was in differential equations. In differential equations, when I took that course, I remember on the first test, I was sitting there in class, and someone raised their hand, they said, have you graded the test yet? And the teacher says, no, not yet, I've graded a few. Uh, someone got 110. And I, and I was sitting there thinking, that's me, I got the 110, because it was an extra credit question, and I'm pretty sure I got it right. So I got a perfect score on the first test in differential equations. How? By doing that, by making sure I could do every single problem cold. In fact, after I did the homework, I went and I put every single homework problem on a flashcard, and I shuffled them, and I dealt them to myself. And as I dealt them, I would solve the differential equation. Yes, it was excessive. Yes, it was completely insane. But when I sat down and took that test, I was a monster. I, I solved everything perfectly, Everything was like, oh yeah, I know exactly how to do this. And I went through and it was like a textbook. It was just perfect solutions to every problem on that test. And I continued with close to perfect or perfect scores throughout the entire course using that strategy. But it took a lot of effort and I liked differential equations. I, I liked the teacher, even though he wouldn't let us have a pizza party. I liked that class and that helped. You like math and I think it's gonna help you. So, so that's, that's my advice. If anyone else has advice, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you want to learn math, I do have courses. Before I forget, they're on Udemy. But if you get them, please use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com uh, for two reasons. One, it helps me greatly. And two, I've lowered the price to the minimum that it lets me lower them to. So you should get a low price if you use my links. If you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. The key takeaway from this video should be that if you wanna be successful on a math test, make sure you can do everything cold without looking at your resources. Oh, I had mentioned graduate school at the beginning of this video. In grad school, it's the same, except you have to take it an extra step. You have to get different books on the subject and do problems from those books as well. Because sometimes those questions will show up on tests. I mean, that happened to me in real analysis. There was a question on my real analysis final. I was the only person in the entire class who got it right. Does that mean I was super smart? Absolutely not. That class was full of people who were brilliant at mathematics and they were much better than I was and they had much better backgrounds than I had. The only reason I got that question right is because I studied extra hard and I did it and it was a problem in another book. So it helps to be prepared. Anyways, I'm rambling. I hope it's been helpful. Keep doing mathematics.